Ain't nobody got time for that, or whatever that saying is. and welcome again to my backyard. For today's video, I am going to be doing a spring break or a springtime hairstyle. I actually posted this picture on Instagram and Michelle D13 shout out requested a hair tutorial. This video is actually a part of the All Things Hair channel, kind of. I'm actually a part of that channel and I upload videos over there about all things hair. So if you're interested in more hair tutorials, hair videos, be sure to check that channel out. Without further ado, I'm gonna jump right in. I started by washing my hair uh, with the Suave Sea Mineral Infusion Shampoo and Conditioner. So it helps to add like body and fullness to your hair. So I'm starting with my hair like 80% dry, so it's still a little bit damp, but I'm gonna spray the Tresemme Perfectly Undone Sea Salt Spray all over my hair just to give it like some beachy waves and it's really gonna help the hair hold the texture that I give it throughout the day. And it smells amazing. <laughs> All right, so if it really is spring break for you and you have time to chill, then I'm gonna recommend that you let your hair kind of air dry, but if you have to hurry, you can use like a hair dryer with like a diffuser if you're that fancy, or you can just like blow on it with really low temperature so it's not like making your hair fly all over the place. But I'm gonna let my hair air dry and I will be right back in a minute. So next up is I'm gonna take my handy dandy one and one quarter inch curling iron and I'm gonna wrap a couple of the straight pieces that have a harder time getting wavy. To everyone that is curious and doesn't know my hair videos very well by now, I really like the messy tousled look and for me, I think to achieve that, you have to make sure your curling iron goes different directions so that the curls never really like stick together one way. And I'm gonna make my bangs swoop and I'm gonna do that by doing the following. Taking the curling iron, clamping down like this and then curling backwards and pulling it down slowly, peeps. Ooh. And sometimes I'll even like pin it to let it sit and cool into the right spot. All right, so I'm gonna start off by taking some hair over here. I'm just gonna grab a chunk. I'm not really a parting person all the time. So I'm gonna start the braid. Once you get the braid going, which really it's maybe a couple passes, you're gonna start grabbing other pieces of hair to bring into the braid to create the French braid. the bottom and you can really decide at any point but I'm gonna start right by my ear or I'm gonna stop right by my ear I stop pulling hair in and I'm just gonna complete the braid down to the bottom so once you get to the bottom of that if you want to make your look more chunky and messy all you do is you just kind of go up and you just kind of start pulling the braid apart loosen it kind of wiggle it into the position you want I'm gonna lift a chunk of hair and then double pin it into place. So just create like an X with the bobby pins. Up, down. And then I'm gonna take my hair and just place it over the bobby pins. Try not to eat my hair. And pull it and push it into place. And voila! All right guys, so that is it. Give this video a thumbs up if you want more spring videos. I will see you all very soon. I'm gonna go, uh, I don't know, continue to sit here and bask in the sun now. <laughs> and I will see you guys later. Bye.